Yes. Question 421, Sir B. Vinod Kumar. Sir, question number 421. Yes. Sir, A to D, a statement is laid on the table of the House. Yes. Yes, first supplementary, please. Sir, sir, my main intention to raise this question is to attract the attention of the Honorable Minister towards the wasteful expenditure made by the oil companies uh, uh, in the area of uh, advertisements, sir. We are hearing the news that oil prices are going to be increased. So in this scenario, I, ra I raise this question, sir. Sir, I have gone through the reply. Mm -hmm. I understand from the reply of the minister that there is any, hardly any control over the release of advertisements. Sir, I would like to know from the minister whether the ministry is formulating any regularity authority to scrutinize the advertisement before issuing. Mr. Speaker, sir, I regret to have to say that the expression wasteful expenditure is uh, <coughs> inappropriate to the realities that have been presented in the utmost detail to the honorable member in my written reply. I have pointed out, sir, that the total expenditure, total expenditure on both advertisements as well as sponsorship by HPCL is 0.055% of its sales turnover. Of BPCL, it is 0.1%. Of IOC, it is 0.11%. And of IBP, it is 0.02%. How can it possibly be true to say that the expression, uh, true to say that this is wasteful? In terms of the job that they are required to do, their expenditure on both advertisements and sponsorship constitute a minute fraction of their total turnover. Sir, with respect to, with respect to the, essentially the second part of uh, the Honorable Member's question, the question of advertisements being released through the government's DAVP has a history that goes back to 1959 and 1965, leave alone the current ninth report of the uh, 14th Lok Sabha. At that, even at that time, and a running theme through all this is that there are problems about autonomous public sector undertakings. Because as, as distinct from government departments, government ministries or government organizations. For the first three, there is no difficulty. But for commercial organizations, they have to operate in the marketplace. And we have had all kinds of specific problems which have arisen in using DAVP rates. The first problem, of course, is that the rate structure committee is still to finalize and have approved their recommendations by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. So we don't know at this stage in the public sector, in the oil public sector companies, yes. as to what are the rates. Also, sir, many newspapers say that unless the advertisement carries the government logo, they will not accept it at the government-ordained DAVP rates. We also have problems with regard to corporate confidentiality because what is shared with DAVP comes into the public domain. <coughs> and we have the problem that DAVP is able to release quickly from a location in Delhi, but if you wish to re release from Baroni or from Digboy, it's not so easily <coughs> possible to do it quickly from Delhi. So in the light of all this, while these issues are under consideration within the government on the basis of the realities of the marketplace, I do not think it would be necessary to bring in a regulator we can discuss these matters on the basis of a realistic assessment of what the market is saying and what are the intentions of the ninth uh, report of the 14th Lok Sabha of the committee attached to the Ministry of Information Broadcasting. Second supplementary. Sir, in the reply, it is mentioned that the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, while its letter data 31st May 2005, has advised to root publicity work of PSUs through DAVP. And uh, there were difficulties as mentioned by the Ministry. 
that uh, yesterday, that is on 24th August, uh, there was a meeting. I would like to know uh, from the minister whether the difficulties faced by the oil companies with the DVP are sorted out. If so, whether they are going to follow the guidelines here in after. Sir, the letter that was issued yesterday specifically drew attention, the attention of the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting to the fact that the recommendations of the rate structure committee constituted in this regard have not yet been furnished to our ministry and ought to be furnished at an early date. Um, but beyond that, we are still going to continue our correspondence to bring to their attention some of the points that I have mentioned here on the floor of the House. The great advantage, sir, of questions being raised in the House is it gives us an opportunity to take stock of the situation. And I'm grateful to the honorable member that by posing this question, he has enabled us to get to grips with the nitty gritty of what is obviously a very naughty problem. 